on, David. We've been talking about body image. Too fat, too thin, the beautiful and the not so beautiful. Our next guest has taken her interest uh, with body image to new levels, not her own. But that of her children. Sarah Burge has allowed her 15 year old daughter to have Botox injections and entered her spray tanned, heavily made up eight year old Poppy into American beauty pageants. She's become one of the most talked about mums on the planet, but when she appeared on a US chat show, the talking came to a sudden stop. I honestly have nothing more to talk to you about. I gotta be honest. I, I, gotta, I gotta be honest. I gotta just stop. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I, I try to be really polite to all my guests. I just think you're dreadful, and I, I honestly don't want to talk to you anymore. So I'm just going to stop. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Well, Sarah joins us on the sofa right now, along with her eight-year-old daughter, Poppy. Welcome Good to you morning. both. Good morning. I mean, Anderson Cooper in America didn't mince his words there, did he? He called you dreadful. I think referring to the fact that you've allowed your 15-year-old to have Botox and Poppy enters some of the beauty pageants. I mean, wh why do you do it? Oh, my God, it was just drama, drama, drama. I mean, we were actually over in America filming our own reality show. I'd done a whole mammoth round of interviews all the way from all over New York, Australia, Canada, Germany, even South. Africa. I was invited onto the show and in my opinion he actually wanted to throw me off before I even got on but whether, there. Whether that was a TV stunt or not, I think viewers would be interested to know the sort of thinking behind uh -huh. why you gave, for, for example, your 15 years. Well, you see, everything talks. gets distorted in but the tell press. Us, you tell he, us. Yes, I mean, people only hear half the story. My, my daughter suffered with a medical condition called hyperhidrosis, which is excessive sweating. Now, I took a judgment call as a mother to put her, um, sort of make her feel so much better about herself, build more confidence because she was on the stage, she was a dancer, to have a couple of shots of Botox. She went through puberty and that was the end of it. She didn't have any more sweating. She became a professional dancer and, and I actually put out a press release saying that uh, we need to address this growing problem amongst teenagers and how Botox has many medical devices. But and you also gave thought. this little girl uh, a voucher for plastic surgery. <laughs> she's, she's eight. Uh, are we are told. Is that true? <laughs> well, no. As you know, I'm in the medical industry and and I'm a practitioner of aesthetic medicine. Now, these vouchers which I get are in lieu of payment, so they're all given to me free. These vouchers can be cashed in at cost price and they're banked for Poppy. It's nothing to do with having plastic surgery. It's to actually take her through university to become a plastic surgeon, which is what she actually wants to do. She can buy herself a house, she can buy herself a car. This is like money in the bank. Do not worry though, Sarah, about you know the sort of spray tanning and makeup and the Botox. You know, there's a lot of talk this week about body image and how children as young as five are worried about their body image. Isn't this sort of an argument for, for letting children be children? Well, I didn't spray tan my daughter. When we went over to America to do the beauty pageant, it was forming part of our reality show. We don't do beauty pageants. So we went over there, and as it happened, she won it. She won her division. I mean, I, I personally thought, after seeing all those children, they looked like freaky Stepford dolls. I mean, they said that they wanted her to have what they call a flipper in her mouth, which is like false teeth, and the only flipper I knew was like the dolphin from back in the day, you know. So no more of that. <laughs> no more of that. No, we, we didn't do anything oh. like that. And she went in traditionally English, and she won it, and we also were raising money for charity in okay, the process. Well, all in a good cause. Uh, let me bring in uh, Moira Wren, who's up in our Glasgow studio. Moira uh, used to routinely enter her uh, nine-year-old daughter into beauty pageants. Um, I, we can see her there. Thanks very much, Eve, for joining us, uh, Moira. You've been hearing uh, all that. What's your response to what you've heard? Um, well, my thoughts, obviously, I became quite obsessed with the, the beauty pageant um, world and I was in a beauty pageant bubble and it, it just it just was so wrong. Um, I was just looking at my daughter as a beauty. I wasn't looking at her for anything else and I really regret everything I did, to be quite honest with you. So what's your advice uh, to our guest uh, down here, Sarah, um, about her daughter who's sitting in front of me heavily made up, well, her eyes are heavily made up, uh, and, well, you've heard what she had to say. Yeah, um, I mean, all, all my advice is I can't tell her what's right and wrong. She's got to do what she wants to do. Um, I'm not saying, you know, it, it's a bad thing to do. I'm just saying I regretted it. Um, it's it, The only winners really are the beauty pageant organisers um, or, you know, when you're on the stage and you're winning, there's only the, one person to win. What did it do to the relationship between you and your daughter? What did it do to the relationship between you and your daughter? What did it do to the relationship between you and your daughter? Um. The
the relationship was always good between me and my daughter, but there was, you know, there was a lot of pressure on us. Um, there was no, like, there's no fun anymore. It was just all, like, go, go, go. There was no fun. Poppy, how do you feel when you're in these, in these beauty competitions? Do you enjoy it? What's it like? Well, I really liked that one because I won it. Because you won it. And is this what you won? Did you win this crown? Yes. You did? And is it great fun? Is it enjoyable doing it? Well, um... It depends what if you like it or not. But you enjoy doing that. And yes, putting, I your, do. putting your eye makeup on and you're doing your hair and everything yes. like that. I mean, at the end of the day, the only winners, I mean, are us as far as we're concerned because we're a huge working mechanic of books, magazine deals, TV shows, reality. I have my own TV show coming up in America. Uh, Poppy has already been asked to have her own TV show as well. Uh, yeah, they want to have her, on, her, have her own TV show for children. Doing what? Well, talking about whatever she wants to talk about. I mean, the adventures of Poppy. I mean, Why, we... not, why not let this, this kid just enjoy her childhood? But why do you think one comes at the expense of the other? We do everything. We do things that other parents and children would only ever dream of. And I mean, we're extremely fortunate. We travel the world. We have first class accommodation. They, you know, we, everything. I mean, so who's got the last laugh? You know, hey ho, here we go. Okay, well, it's your point of view. You're very welcome to it. And it's absolutely your right to bring up your children as, exactly as you wish. But thanks very much indeed for being with us. Thank, Thank you, you also to you, Maya. Uh, I'll put a glass to go there. Nice.